five brothers, two older brothers, got me started pole vaulting when I was like seven, maybe. Backyard pit, that classic thing, cut down a stick, you know, and then uh, started jumping in a sand pit. So I started pretty early. My oldest brother was probably my main coach. My dad took eight millimeter films, you know, back in the day of, uh, Brian Sternberg was a world record holder at the University of Washington, not far from us. So that, that was kind of my, my input. <laughs> I remember every night now, I don't, going outside and praying and asking God, I'm not, hey, you know, I will, I will, can I help me make the Olympic team? And that, that Olympic qualifying, I jumped 17 feet for the first time in my life on the first attempt. And that, yeah, I, that was just, yeah, that was a huge, huge deal. Highest, highest and lowest point probably of, of my career in some ways. 17 feet to make the team, qualifying rounds at the time, no, no stand, qualifying standards. People from all over the world, uh, they started the bar at 12 feet in the qualifying round at 8 o'clock in the morning. I didn't take my first jump at 15 feet, I think, till 3 in, three in the afternoon, 4. Made that, kind of shaky, waited till 16-1, which was the cutoff to make the finals. I missed my first two attempts. And so on the third one, I have the picture. Yeah, I cleared it by a foot and a half, best jump of my life. The pole broke the imaginary plane of the crossbar, which was illegal at the time, even though my pole was way under the crossbar. And the guy went to catch it and went through that imaginary plane and they waved a red flag. And so anyway, I sat in the stands, cried for three days off and on, watched the finals with my dad in the stands, beautiful conditions, three guys tied the world record, yeah. But I, hey, I was there.